Hi, everybody. We are Group Five, and we have five people. Welcome to our presentation. This video is a chapter summary of our group. We have Chapter Ten: Online Communities. So this presentation, we have three parts: include social networks and online communities, online auctions, and e-commerce portals. And the first part: online communities. The internet was originally designed as a means of communication to connect scientists in computer science department across the continental United States. It is predicted as a community building technology that allows scientists to share data, knowledge, and opinion in a real time online environment. With the development of the web. In the nearly 1990s, millions of people began to have internet and email accounts, and the community building of the internet was encouraged. In the late 1990s, the commercial value of online community was recognized as a potential new business model. The initial online community consists of a relatively small number of Web enthusiasts and users being interested with technology, politics, literature, and ideas. Currently, joining social network is one of the most popular ways to use the internet. More than two thirds of all internet users worldwide, about 2.3 billion people use social networks. Facebook has over 1.7 billion active users. And over 1.5 billion monthly mobile users. While Facebook is the most popular social network, it is also the slowest growing and growing only a few percentage point since 2012. Newer social networks such as Pinterest, Instagram, and Snapchat are growing much faster. And the social networking phenomenon. Is even stronger with more than 2.3 billion users worldwide, 32 percent of the world population, and still growing at 9 percent annually. Social networks are the top online destinations in every country, accounting for the majority of time spent online, and reaching nearly 79 percent of active internet users. So let me define what social network is. Social network involve a group of people share social interaction, common tie among members, and people who share an area for some period of time. And an online social network is one where people who share common tie can interact with one another online. We can see some example. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, in general, is a group of people who may or may not face to face. They talk and exchange everything through social media. Look at the figures in the table ten point one. It's about top U.S. social network twenty sixteen. As you can see, Facebook has the biggest number of visitors with two. Two hundred and six million per month, which is followed by LinkedIn and Twitter with one hundred and twenty seven and one hundred thirty and thirty million respectively. The number of visitors is just one way to measure how influential a website is. Time on site is one another important metric. The more time people spend on a website called engagement, the more time it takes to sell advertisement and generate revenue. The amount of revenue generated is an ultimate metric for measuring a company business potential. Social network 
are not only for entertainment but also for business. While the early social network had a difficult time raising capital and revenues, today third social networks are now monetizing their huge audience. Early social networks relied on subscription, but today most social networks rely on advertising or the investment of venture capitalists. Social networks are where corporate brand and reputation are formed, and firms today take very seriously the topic of online reputation, as evidenced by social network posts. Commentary, transactions, and likes. There are five main types of business, social networks, and online communities. As you can see, in the table 10.3, firstly is general. It's the online social gathering, place to meet and socialize with friends, share content, schedule, and interests. Example: Facebook. In Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. The next one is practice. It's a social network of professional and practitioners, creator of artifacts such as computer code or music. Next to interest, it's a community built around a common interest such as games, sports, music, stock market, politics, health, finance, or lifestyle. The next one is affinity. It's a community of members who self-identify with a demographic or geographic category, such as women, African Americans. Finally, is sponsored. It's a network created by commercial, government, and non-profit organization for a variety of purposes. Algorithms are one of the most important technologies used by social networks. Algorithms are the set of step-by-step -step instructions similar to receipt for reproducing a desired output from required inputs. Algorithms are an ancient concept but are fundamental to how computers are used today to do everything from calculating paychecks Uh, the amount you own when purchasing online. For instance, does Facebook decide what training news to list in your training section, which of your posts to post on your friend new feed, and which instant article to make available on your on mobile new feed? While the generic algorithm appears simple, each step in the algorithm is implemented by computer programs involving tens of thousands of lines of computer code and thousands of hours of software engineering and system de development uh, the data produced by over 167 million users in the United States and 1.7 billion other users worldwide requires three data centers in the United States and one in Sweden. A total of million square feet containing tens of thousands of servers are connected by several fiber optic networks. Data center knowledge The training algorithm is a complex chunk of code that operate in real time. The algorithm is also sensitive to rates of change. If mentioned spike in a short period of time, the topic gets a boost in ranking. The algorithm could not distinguish between a real event versus a phony event. One of the vulnerabilities of the training algorithm is it is sensitive to the number of mention and the rate of increase over a short period of time.
Actions are usually public sales of goods or property where people make higher and higher bids for each things. Customer to consumer C to C actions. Actions how act as an intermediary market maker, providing a firm where customer can discover price and trade. We need to customers B to C actions. Business sells goods is all or controls using various dynamic pricing model. Next one is benefits and cost of actions. Business of actions. Liquidity. Seller can fire and buyer and buyer can fire and seller. Seller and buyer can locate anywhere around the group. Price discoveries buyer and seller can quickly efficiently Develop price for its items that are difficult to access. Price transparency. Published internet auctions allow everyone in the world to see the asking and buying price for items. For items. Market efficiencies auctions can and often do lead to reduce price and hence reduce profits for mechanics, leading to an Increase in customer welfare once measures of market efficiency. Lowers transactions cost. Online online actions can lower the cost of selling and purchasing products, benefiting both merchants and consumer. Customer aggressions aggregations, sellers and benefit from large absences ability to aggregate. A large number of consumers who are motivated to purchase something in one market space. Network effect: the larger ones action set becomes in terms of visitor and products for sales. The more valuable it become as a market place for everyone by providing liquidities and several other benefits list previously. Next one is risk and cost of actions. The first one is delay consumption cost. Internet actions can go on for days and shipping will take additions no time. Monitoring cost participation in actions requires your time to monitor bidding. Equipment cost. Internet actions require you to purchase a computer system and pay for internet access. Next one is just break. Online actions are a significant source of internet fraud. Using actions increase the risk of experience a lot. Fulfillment costs typically is by a pay fulfillment cost of packing, shipping, and insurance, whereas. As a physical store, these costs are increased in the retail retail price. And next one is, how can we address these risks? So the first one is providing a rating system in which previous customer rate seller based on their overall experience with the mechanics. The second thing is auction fault. As a first, is leading source of e-commerce complaint to federal law enforcement officials, and another solution to high monitoring costs is iron snake colors fixed pricing. Next one is auctions and an e-commerce business model. The success of online auctions is qualified qualified. By the fact that the marketplace for online auctions is highly concentrated, in auctions network effects are highly influential, and the tendency is for one or two very large auctions to dominate. Next, we have some types and examples of auctions. The primary types of auctions found on the internet are. English auctions, Dutch internet auctions, name your own price auctions, and so-called penny auctions. 
Now, the first one, the English action. The English action is the easiest type to understand and the most common form of action on eBay. It is a single item up for sale from a single seller. There is a time limit when the action ends, a reserved price below which the seller will not sell usually is a secret and a minimum incremental bid set. Multiple buyers will bid against one another until the time limit is reached. Next we have the Dutch internet auction. The Dutch internet auction is perfect for sellers that have many identical items to sell. Sellers start by listing a minimum price or a starting bid for one item and the number of items for sale. Winning bidders pay the same price per item, which is the lowest successful bid. Next, the third one is the Name Your Own Price Auction. It was pioneered by Priceline and is the second most popular auction format on the web. It acts as an intermediary buying blocks of airline tickets, hotel rooms, and vacation. Packages are discount and selling them at a reduced retail price or matching its inventory to bidders. And the last one is so called penny. is to, is to participate in a penny auction, also known as a bidding fee auction. You typically must buy the penny auction sites for bids. Once you have purchased the bids, you can use them to bid on items listed by many auction sites. So we move to when to use auctions and for what in business. So auctions can be appropriate channel for businesses to sell items in a variety of situations. And here I have a table that shows the factors to consider when choosing auctions. Here we have some considerations is the type of product, stage of product life cycle, channel management issues, type of auction, initial pricing, bid increment amounts, auctions length, number of items, price allocation rule, and information sharing. You can have, you can look at this a little bit. So we move to consumer trust in auction. So auction sites have the same difficulties of creating a sense of consumer trust as all other e-commerce sites. The operators of the marketplace do not directly control the quality of goods, of goods being offered and cannot directly vouch for the integrity of the buyers or the sellers. So when auction markets fail, fraud and abuse in auctions. Auctions are particularly prone to fraud, which produce information asymmetries between buyers and sellers. And some of the possible abuses and frauds include bid ringing, price matching, defensive shoe feedback, offensive shoe feedback, feedback extortion, transaction interference, bid manipulation, non-payment after winning, shoe bidding, transaction non-performance, non-selling sellers, and big siphoning. So this will be the last part of our presentation about e-commerce portal. So what is e-commerce portal? It is online platform where buyers, sellers, trading transactions are conducted. Manufacturers and distributors launch e-commerce portal to transition their buyers to an online channel. Portal streamline the buying process by facilitating book ordering and enabling volume-based pricing. For easy of understanding, it is a gateway to the web pages available on the internet and is original purpose 
is to help users find information on the web, then evolve into sites providing a variety of content from news to entertainment. So today, portals of four main purposes, navigation of the web, communication, commerce, and contents. For example, Google, Yahoo, and Shopee. So there are two main types of portals, that is general purpose portals and vertical market portals. General purpose portal is attempt to attract a very large general audience and then retain the audience on site by providing in deep vertical content. While vertical market portal is attempt to attract highly focused lawyers audiences with a deep interest in either community or personalized content. Vertical market portal can be divided in two main types. That is the affinity group which are designed to serve aggregate um, a people who identify themselves by their value, belief and behavior. The other one is focused um, content portals. They are the size content in deep information on a particular topic that all members are interested in. They can be approached as sport, new weather, entertainment or finance, or they can appear um, to much more focused groups such as broad hall or video game enthusiasts. So as you can see here is some example of general purpose portal and vertical market portals. And in order to operate actively, e-commerce portal must find the way of generating revenues. So the e-commerce portal can receive revenue from a, a number of different resources. Uh, as you can see here on the table 10.7. The business model is presently changing and adapting to decline in certain revenue streams, uh, especially advertising revenues. Revenue resources can include general advertising, tenancy deals, subscription fees, and commissions on sales. To survive in the future, uh, e-commerce portals must have some strategy, such as develop deep rich vertical content in order to attract advertisers to various niche groups that they can target with focused ads. Um, for the small vertical market portals, build a collection of vertical portals, thereby creating a network of deep, rich content sites for the same reason. So that's the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.